when Smash 4 came out a couple of months ago, Sky said he was done with League. He hated everyone in the scene, and everything was over. And now he is back. He's come crawling you back to the LCS to beg forgiveness from the entire community. Sky, if you'd like to just launch into your forgiveness, that would be great. We're starting there? What? what? I thought that was... When you reached out to me about wanting to do this interview, I felt like that was what you wanted to talk about. I haven't at all. You told me to come upstairs to do an interview because at LCS, they moved the studio right next to my house. Oh, yeah. And that's why I'm here because LS told me to come, so I came. Mm. And I did not just quit everything. It was just really hard. Like, it was just hard, man. Like, I, I, I didn't have anything to say or do about League, and I was Diamond 5, and I, I didn't quit. It was just, I didn't, I just didn't want to stream all the time. Everybody wanted me to stream, and I just, couldn't you were like it's just too hard because i'm just too popular like i just need to you're like a, a you're basically arguing that you're like a celebrity who has to like go off to another country to just feel like what it's like to be a normal person again that's what that's what it sounds like you're saying no i'm saying that it just got really hard to stream and lose and lose and lose and lose and then like my stream numbers weren't like as good as they used to be. And then you just feel bad. And then Smash came out and I've been a Smasher my entire life. So I wanted to delve in. I wanted to go back and play a lot of Smash and practice for Apex. Okay. And now that Apex is done, I'm resuming my League of Legends life. Does this mean you're done with Smash? Why does it have to be one or the other? I'm just asking. You said you're resuming your League of Legends life, you know? I'm looking out for the Smash people, looking out for League people. I just, I know they all, you have so many fans, right? You know, and so I'm just trying to get that information to your fans. I'm not done with Smash. I will do both. I will play League of Legends and I will play Smash competitively and it will be a lot of fun and I'll be a part of both communities. Nice. And that's great. So tell me, how was Apex? Whoa, Apex was wonderful and uh, I cannot wait for next year. How was your performance? I got uh, 25th. I was the highest placing Yoshi. Nice. Thank you. Is Yoshi very popular? No. He should be because Yoshi's very good. So then saying you're the highest placing Yoshi is it's not really not that impressive, right? So it's good to have you back uh, in the League of Legends scene. Uh, I, I saw you made a video recently that I... Uh, quite enjoyed about why people sell out. I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, does this mean that you're going to be selling out soon? I will stick by my moral values okay. and only promote products that I really believe in. It's very respectable. I think that's actually what a lot of respectable people do when they sell out. Um, <laughs> so for you, uh, getting back into the league scene, what, what has that process been like? It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I started doing my placements. Now I'm in plat two. Um, I actually, uh, my, my favorite memory is, okay, so I don't post anything to Reddit anymore. Um, chiefly, well, two reasons. One, people are probably tired of the same shtick over and over. But two, it's just like Reddit's not, I'm learning that Reddit's not a self-promotion site. If it's good enough to make the front page or whatever, then it will. So what I was happy about is since I don't really read comments that much anymore, um, just because it just is a lot. Um, I put up my return video, the five reasons why you can't really ever quit league, found that it was front page of Reddit and there was a lot of positive feedback. And I was like, well, damn, yeah. I guess people kind of missed me and I felt really good. It was really exciting for me because I, had not realized that you'd been gone. And so it was like, oh, I guess it was a, like a piece of new information for me. Because, I mean, I, I only say that because I follow Smash and that kind of thing. I'd seen you so often. I follow you on Twitter because oh. we're such good friends. And I, I you know, I knew, I, I feel like you never really left me. You know what I mean? So, uh, okay. but it's so great. I'm happy for all the League fans out there that are able to see your content again because I know you're very highly, highly valued. Uh, speaking of League content, uh, you made a tweet a while back about some show that you're going to be producing. Uh, can you give any details yet or tease anything? Sure. Um, so I have been um, 
I've been thinking of a way to make consistent content while bringing something new to the League of Legends scene. Because I've always said that the best thing to do for anyone in life to be any sort of successful in any stretch is to give the people something they didn't know they wanted. And um, I thought it would be cool. I saw all chat and um, all respects to Riot for making that show. However, it's, it's, it's missing a key element. And they're probably going to steal it if they see this. But if all chat had a live studio audience, that show would be successful because it's built like it should have a direct response. So I decided to make that I wanted to make my own show with a live studio audience, which will include guests, uh, skits, just some fun things called Slay, Sky, League, and You. Spell Slay, first letters. Do you like lowercase the A because it's and, which is you know not that important of a word? So that'll be airing the first weekend of April. Um, and hopefully we're going to be uh, filming it and getting a nice uh, study group to not study group focus group to see you know how they like the show and then we'll stream it live um, on Twitch and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, where can people get tickets for this? Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell tickets. It's it's I'm I'm honestly just gonna tweet out this is where we are and I'm just gonna fill the entire place and after like i mean you'll get a ticket but i don't i don't plan on selling it i don't want to make a profit like what if too many people show up and it's a fire hazard i heard that this happened recently at an event <laughs> it did yeah. but it, it it only that only occurred because the hotel was just not built for living okay. the hotel was built to be a haunted house simulator so of course when there's like four people in a room they're gonna freak out so a fighting game th event that you know people that follow league don't know about apex um but i uh I i'm gonna regulate the amount of people that are going to go in there's probably going to be registration online but it's not going to cost anything i don't i just don't see why it would so you're not just going to tweet it out and say hey show up which is what you said moments ago there's actually gonna be registration this is, did I just assist you in solving a potential issue that you were not aware of existed? It's just that, and again, only because you're so popular, I would be concerned that you have so many fans that would come out that if you hadn't planned accordingly uh, and listened to me in this interview, that you would have had too many people come out, which is, I mean, great, because you're, you're, again, you have so many fans. This is a work in progress, okay. and as I enter this new world of yeah. media, I will be carefully examining all aspects, including that one, to make this show the best show that League of Legends has ever seen. Seems like it's more work uh, right now than progress, but I am really excited to, to hear uh, about this. So you guys, you're, you're starting to shoot it around when? Um, well, actually, that's a, good, that's, that's a good point. Today I was going to probably figure that out. Today I was going to go to the studio uh, where I will be filming it okay. to get the logistics, to get the price, to get everything down. And um, I was going to go ahead and try to find different quotes, different venues. And I want to start filming. <clears throat> I was sick for a while, so I want to start filming like next, like next Friday or something. Um, film one episode, get the focus group, watch it fix it, film episode two, so that we have two in the hole, and then three will be coming up next and stuff like that. That's neat. Uh, any details on, I mean, is this just something you're doing by yourself and you'll have like one guest on, or do you have like a whole team of people that are working with you on this? I don't have a team. It's really right now me, Brittany Brown, and Josh Kim. Like we're, we're working on it. Um, uh, one, of my, one of my viewers actually um, was the person, because I, I wanted to use the word slay, so I had Sky League, and then he thought of and you. I forgot his name, but he's in my stream. And so I'm going to, you know, he is a part of it, too. He's a little person, I understand. You just don't remember his name. They're, he's not. A, so we have a team um, of those three, and I'm always open to having more people work on it if they, if they want to help. Um, the guests, uh, my idea is I want to do a show where, okay, I'm, it's kind of like Ellen. But, you know, there's like skits and stuff and then you have staple characters. And as uh, as the show progresses and, and we get more ideas, we're going to be reaching out to members of the community to uh, hopefully, you know, like. Be a part of it. Yeah. yeah. 
That's really cool. So right now it's it's done by you, Josh Kim, who's on All Chat, a uh, friend of mine that I hang out with often because he lives with a couple of friends, and then Brittany Brown, who I literally trained to be my replacement. So it's it's the three of you guys who, uh, yeah, no, I, I she because remember she had her what? debut. Yeah, whenever I went to Europe last year oh. for two weeks, like I was like, hey, you should do interviews, and then, uh, you know, promote. So it's you three who I consider to be close friends, and uh, I just haven't really heard anything about this or really been haven't received any kind of. I guess this is the part where I say like TFTI. That's like the abbreviation, I guess. I told you, <clears throat> I told you on Twitter. I was like, I want yeah, oh, I want to have you as a guest and. I'd even like you to be a staple part of the show. I have t told this to you. Okay. These have been, uh, this is a tweet yeah. that has been tweeted. I mean, I, I, I'm appreciative that you spent like 140 characters on this conversation, but I felt like there would be maybe like an email chain, like Skype group, uh, you know, like ma mailing list, something that okay, would be. Travis, I have you on Skype and I will put you in a group with the three of us and we will talk about this. I really do want you to be a part of the show. I mean, because it just again didn't really didn't really feel that way. I feel like I have a lot that I can offer you, namely like, hey, maybe we should think about how people are going to get to this event, okay. and yeah, okay. just kind of the basics. Great. Cameras, by the way, great way to capture video. Um, <laughs> I really think those are great. We're gonna have yeah, cameras. we're gonna have cameras. How many? There's gonna be at least four. Okay. Nice. One one for one for like me. Yeah. Right, and then like one for like the audience, okay. and then like one for like the overhead shot. You know, it's like like the Colbert Report, like na 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 na. That's the camera, and then the, and then there's one that is facing the guest, and then one that's facing me. I think we're at five now. But the same one that goes the na 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 could also double as the one facing me. And then one facing that. And it's four. Four cameras. You're going to use uh, union guys for all this work? Yeah. Okay. What's the union? So there's a, like, there's tra different trades people have unions and uh, where, you know, they, they're they part of a, they have like a collective bargaining agreement. And it's, we'll talk about it later when I'm in the Skype group. Do you need any other video people? Cause actually my video producer has been looking for some extra work on the side. He's a great guy. Um, that's the only time I'll ever say that, but uh, you, you, he might be, I've always got your back. Like I will try to find you some work. Uh, oh, 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 uh, actually let's, uh, either way, look, I'm just trying to get him some work. Uh, is there, could he be involved? Of course, I actually, I actually think that'd be a wonderful combination of people because he is amazing. Yeah. He is very, very, very good at his job, and I would love to have him aboard if he would be willing to help. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well, his his day rate is really reasonable. Um, it's just a couple grand, you know, because he's he's pretty good. My roommate uh, Alex Lotus, do you know who that is? Yes, yeah. the one that sounds like Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. So she actually works at Starbucks, and I was thinking maybe she could be involved in the catering of this event as well. What are you, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What is this? My father uh, actually does some construction work, and so if you need any help building any of the sets or any of that, we could maybe get his company to, to get involved in that. Uh, that would be kind of good. My return to League of Legends has been a wonderful experience. And hey, hey, actually, so I've got this friend named Peter Peng, and we do some great content. Uh, and so he, yeah, Peter Peng, uh, Doublelift, that's his handle. I love yeah. Peter. I love Doublelift. So I was thinking, what if you, oh, the first guest. what if, what? oh, even better, so what if he's the guest and I'm the host, and then you're kind of like an executive producer type, and then it's just, and he's always the guest. In fact, he's maybe like a second host, like he's like the Andy Richter. Uh, you know, from Conan, the slow show. And then I am the host. He's the Andy Richter. And then, you know, like, I just invite. So I'm, just, I'm just not on camera. I'm just actually in the back just making. Sh like, well, okay. Actually, you could be like that guy where whenever I make the references to, like, oh, I'm being told we have to move on. Or, oh, do we have that or whatever. You know, they kind of do, like, the behind the scenes thing of, yeah. the like, the producer nodding. I was, you could, you could probably do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just change the name. 
So instead of S A S L A Y, we'll do S O T L uh, for State of the League. This will be the new show. And I'm really excited about this. So now that we've got that all sorted out, is there anything that you would like to say at the end of this interview, Sky, now that you know you've come back and the community has accepted your apologies for leaving them? Uh, I hope that you guys continue to enjoy my content and I hope that you enjoy the show and I hope that you add me on Snapchat, S-K-Y-I-D-O-T. I often make stories and they're fun. Um, and I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be a part of both communities. I'll be making content for both communities and I will now continue to live my dream to be a content producer. Well, someday you'll get there. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things esports at ongamers.com.